Hi Stampers, this is Annette from StampWithAnnette.com and I decided to add something to the cover of my journal and I wanted to share that with you today. Um, I got the ruffle trim from Stampin' Up! that's the um, stretchy ribbon and it's in the Coastal Cabana that matches the other accents on my journal and I want it to wrap around and um, hold my journal closed. I'm afraid it's going to get real bulky with all the things that I have going in it. So what I'm doing, I've got I've got my paper piercing mat down here. And I've already poked one hole. I'm going to show you how I did that. I just took my ruler and I wanted it to be one and a quarter inches in from this edge. And I just decided to go with the width of my ruler. So I'm just going to take it right here at this corner and use my paper piercing tool and poke it and then just twist that around and swirl it and try to get that hole bigger and it wasn't quite big enough so I'm using um, the stylus from my um, scoring tool to make it a little bit bigger yet then I've got the ribbon threaded through on this on this end. I'm just going to bring it through. I'm going to use the stylus to help poke it through on the other end. So I can come through just enough that I can grab it. Pull that on through. That the ruffle um, is on the outside at the top and bottom, and then on this is the back cover. On the back cover, it's the back cover on the inside. You can see the ribbon, and then on the outside, it's at the top and the bottom. And I need to give myself a little more ribbon here, so I'm just going to pull it through those holes. And I want to pull it um, a little bit taut, but I still want there to be plenty of room for that to stretch and go around my album. Now if I had decided to do this in the very beginning, I might have placed my elements on the front a little differently, but we're just going to go with it. I'm just going to bring this around to the front. I think I've got my ribbon twisted there. Bring it around to the front and I'm just going to tie it in a simple knot because I'm wanting to keep everything about this journal simple. Tie it in a little knot. Make sure that's a, a good length for it. I'll just trim that ribbon. that a little bit more. I got it at a funky angle. All right, there we go. Quick and easy. Now my journal has a nice stretchy cover. I can just move it off as I work in my journal and then put it back on to hold it closed when I'm done. All right, thanks for stopping by. Happy stamping, everyone.